In this specific video, you're going to learn how to create a contact form in WordPress. So if you're wondering how can you set up a page in a form where people can contact you, it's easy. In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to install it, how to customize the settings, and get it up onto your blog. And in the video after this, I'm going to show you how to customize your contact form in terms of fields and so forth. So we'll dig a little deeper. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to be at your dashboard to go to plugins, click on add new, and we're going to be using a specific plugin called contact form seven. Do a search and it should be at the very top right here this is what we want to use click on install now click on OK make sure this information is correct click proceed and as you can see it takes a couple seconds click on activate plugin and there we go so what I want to do now is edit the settings and to do that Normally, every time you install a plugin, it should be under settings. If it isn't, then oftentimes it will be somewhere on the sidebar here. And as you can see, here it is. It's called Contact Form. And of course, anytime you get lost and you can't find it up here, if you just click on Settings, it will direct you straight to that link. So that's a little shortcut. So currently there is by default a contact form here. So if I click on edit here, before we actually talk about the form itself, I do want to talk about the settings. So before you get that created, basically every time you create a new form, then Contact Form 7 will give you what we call a short code. Short code basically is you copy this stuff into your post, your page, or a text widget, and then it'll show up on your site. But of course, before you do that, you want to make sure that your settings are correct. So this is the mail and as you can see here, this is the, anytime somebody submits a form, it's going to send to this email address. And then, so this is, this really here, right here, is just really for your sake to show you. Okay, so this is gonna come to this email address from this email and this email is gathered from the email address that the person inputs and then the subject line is could be a standard subject line or you can have it where somebody fills a subject line and then you get that but you can also do it in a way that you have a standard subject line and then you know exactly that it's coming from a specific website you can do that as well and message body is basically the message that you're going to receive. So let's say you wanted a pretty sim simple, you got your from, you got your subject line, then you have your message body. And this is your message body, so you're gonna receive all this information and however you choose to do it, And then of course below that are messages that, let's say for example somebody sends a message, you can customize this and say, your message was sent successfully about this and you're gonna receive your quote you know, in a few days or something. So you can customize these. These are just messages that people are gonna receive when they send and so forth. Now, once you're done with that, you will need to click on save. And what I want to do now is just show you how to add this 
form to a specific page. So let's say for example that I want to create a contact us page. I'm going to need this code here. This is what we call a short code. So I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to go to, let's see, pages, click on add new page and create a contact us page. And all you need to do is enter this here. Click on publish and you can view the page and as you can see here every time somebody clicks on contact us they're going to see this form the default form here now in the next video I'm going to show you how to change the fields customize the form and so forth